in previous video we have explored basic gates and universal gates and in this video we are going to explore the arithmetic gates there are two type of arithmetic gates first is XOR gate and the second one is XNOR gate so from these two first we are going to start with XOR gate so here you can see this is the symbolic representation of XOR gate to better understand this XOR gate I recommend that you should have clear idea about basic gates like AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. In my previous video I have explained all those things with animation in detail. If you are not clear about those concepts then I recommend that first watch that video and then move ahead in this video. So now here we are going forward. Now here you can see this is the truth table of XOR gate. These are the two inputs and this is the output. From this truth table it is very clear that when both the input to this XOR gate is same the output is 0 and when both the input to this XOR gate is different the output is 1. So this is what we can see from this truth table. But the question is from where these things appear? How it is like this only? So to clear these questions we must understand it like this way. The output equation of this XOR gate is this. Y is equal to A X or B. This is the symbol of XOR. Here A and B are the two inputs and Y is the output. And the simplified version of this equation is like this. Y is equal to A into B bar plus A bar into B. So now I am going to solve all your questions regarding truth table, the equivalent circuit of XOR gate and the output equation of this gate. Here this XOR gate has two input A and B and one output Y. So first we are going to understand how to construct the equivalent circuit of XOR gate using the output equation of XOR gate. So here you can see there are two inputs plus two inputs so we require four inputs so here we have two inputs a b and another two input a and b so first we want a bar and then we want b and then we want to multiply those things together so in order to get a bar from this a we will use not gate so here we'll get a bar now here we'll use this b directly so here we have a bar here we have b and now we want to do the AND operation of these two inputs. So we'll use AND gate and then in output we will have A bar into B. So this section is ready. Now we want A into B bar. So A will directly use and we'll use NOT gate with this B input and we'll get B bar. So here we have B bar, we have A, we'll do AND operation and we'll get A into B bar. So now we have this term ready with us, this term also ready with us. Now we're supposed to add these two terms together. So in order to add these things together, which gate we should use? We have three options, AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate which gate we should use for addition operation write the answer in comments below so the correct answer is we are supposed to go for OR gate so we'll use OR gate and we'll add these two inputs together and we'll have the output Y so this is the equivalent circuit of XOR gate using three basic gates now we'll give input to this gate and we'll see what type of output we are getting so first we'll start with 0 0 input when we are giving both the input as 0 0 what will be the output that we are going to explore so when a and b both are 0 the output is 0 so what we'll do a is 0 b is 0 and the output is 0 so we'll use the same input in this equivalent circuit a is 0 b is 0 a is 0 b is 0 so when a is 0 when we do this end operation the output of this end operation is 1 this b we are directly using so it is 0 when we do end operation of these inputs the output would be 0 now here we are inverting this input through this NOT gate so the b bar would be 1 when we do end operation of these two inputs we will get output as 0 so in OR gate we have two inputs both are 0 
when we add these two inputs together the output would be zero and here you can see the output is zero now here we have different inputs here we have a is zero and b is one and the output is one so now let's see how it is happening our a is zero b is one a is zero and b is one so here the input to this not gate is zero so output to this not gate will be one b is directly one so the and operation of these two one and one is one because one into one is one so the output is one now a is zero input to this not gate is one so the output would be zero so zero into zero and operation of these two inputs would be zero so finally the input to this or gates are one and zero so when we add these two inputs one plus zero the output would be one and that is what we are getting here in output now we are going to try the third combination here a is one and b is zero and still the output is one so we'll write a is one b is zero a is one b is zero so input to this not get is one so output would be zero this b is zero so and operation of this zero into zero is zero a is one input to this not get is zero so output is one one into one would be one so here we have zero here we have one so zero plus one the output would be one so here we are getting one so here you can see this thing clearly when both the input to this xor gate is different the output is one now we have the final combination that is one one so here it is one here it is one the output is zero let's explore how we'll get zero in output a is one b is one a is one b is one so output a bar will get zero b is one here a is one and the output here will get is zero so one into zero here it is zero one into zero here it is zero so we have zero plus zero so zero plus zero will get zero in output and that is why the output is zero so now i think it is clear to you that whenever both inputs are same here and here the output is zero but whenever both the inputs are different the output is one this is the logical operation of xor gate so i think xor gate is clear to you and if you are enjoying this video then i request you to hit that like button and press the subscribe button so if you are done with that we are going to move for the next gate and that is xnor gate